What's up, guys? We're here. Welcome back to the channel. So today on Diablo 4 Guides for you, we are going to be going over a full interactive map that showcases everything from dungeons to altars of Lilith, how to find, more importantly, specific aspects, and that way you can route your way to get those powers to make your character incredibly strong. Let's do it. So guys, when it comes to the map, what we used to have access to was just the very first map, okay? The very first zone, right? Zone one or area one, act one, whichever way you want to call it. And we actually got a really good detailed map of this. There's a lot of places like D4 Planner, uh, Map Genie. There's also Diablo fans, which is really good. A lot of these sources that really help with that. And we got a lot of good stills. But now what I'm about to show you in d4planner.io is a very detailed interactive map, which we're going to go over a few things that I think is going to help you out on your start of Diablo 4. Let's get into it. So guys, we are here. Big shout out to uh, my community for bringing this over. So yeah, big shout out to my community bringing this over here, guys. We are over on d4planner.io. The link to this map is going to be down in the description below if you guys want to use it. So what we have here is a very interactive map. I'm going to go to the show all. You can see everything that the map absolutely has. We have everything from waypoints, altars of Lilith, side quests, dungeons, strongholds, and then all the way down to like track your world bosses, areas, sellers, campaigns, side quests emo altars, all of these crazy, crazy things that are gonna help you, especially if you're a completionist inside of Diablo 4, which I think all of us are gonna be are, at least on the altars as well as probably your strongholds and then getting all of those precious, precious aspects. So the biggest things that I wanted to bring here is that you can hide all and we're just gonna highlight a few things, right? So we're gonna highlight the altar of Lilith, the dungeons and the strongholds, okay? Everything else, like the events are cool, but we're limited to just area one. The reason for this on things like the uh, events is because we only have been given access to area one. We don't have access to the other four zones or areas, but we are able to see the altar of the Lilith and dungeons more specifically to find the aspects. This resource is a very, very good tool guys. Cause the main point that I want to bring up, which we're going to talk about a little bit later is routing your way to get a very powerful aspect early on so let's take a look here so this is going to be really great we have all the altars of lilith uh, the map is very interactive which means you're just going to be able to click on the the dungeons which is going to showcase your aspects the altars which is going to showcase um, the reward that you're going to get um, as you continue like plus two strength or you know plus two dexterity or like this one is the plus max obols, which is really, really cool. You end up getting a lot of max obols by the end game, guys. So you'll be able to stack those up and use those at the vendor. Um, and when you want to click off, you just click off the side and it, and it gets rid of it. Um, everything is going to be detailed in the passes and the areas that you're going to go to. So when the game releases, this will be updated for you guys. So being able to find these things is very, very important. So the big meat and potatoes of this video is getting particular aspects as you guys have seen in some of our build videos here like the barbarian or more specifically because i'm going to be maining druid my earth leveling build a lot of it evolves around having the aspect of the ursine horror which is a very very powerful skill for the build that i'm going to be playing and it may changes pulverize into an earth skill which allows me to just straight beat face inside diablo 4. until then i'm using landslide but i want to get that power very very early on so in the interactive map, you can click on dungeons because dungeons is where you're going to find aspects. It's so detailed, it's gonna give you the dungeon name, it's gonna give you a brief little um, intro and like details about it. And then it's gonna tell you the rewards and aspect that you get, and then you have one. So like, for example, this one, if you're a flurry rogue main and you're gonna be wanting to play flurry, right here in area one, boom, Forsaken Quarry, you're gonna be able to get the flurry damages in a wide circle, and it gives the details for the damage. What's really, really cool about this is that you're going to be able to click to hit found. So when you click off, it's gonna show all of the dungeons that you have already completed. So I know this is also gonna show in game when you do pull up the map, but in preparation to D4 and like maybe there's some ones that you want to highlight, like if I'm a rogue main, well, I want flurry, so let me click that one off. And then there's one up here in act two for twisting blades, which is gonna be your main one. And maybe you just wanna click found, so that way you're like, remind yourself oh hey these are darkened out why oh i'm a rogue and these are where i want to get these powers because you can't necessarily like just target these and like put check marks next to them and circle them without using a snipping tool or paint or something like that but 
More importantly, what's really, really cool is the search engine that you guys have here. So for me, I need the Ursine Horror. I'm probably saying that wrong. Ursine Horror, the aspect of the Ursine Horror. So if you click on it over here, it's gonna pull you to exactly where it is. I'm gonna show that again. We're gonna show that again. Hey, I'm all the way over here. I'm looking at this cool altar. Wow, man, this thing gives strength too. I need to go to Ursine Horror. And then if you just click, it's gonna pull you right to where it is, which is just absolutely fantastic. Now again, let's say you didn't do that. Okay, you didn't do that, you didn't click on it, you didn't know about it. Well, crap, man, where is it at on the map? I'm just looking for it. I'm looking, looking, oh, wait. There's this yellow one here. That's really cool, and then you click it and you see it's the same one that you had been looking for. It's a really, really cool feature, and it allows you to target farm or target locate items, strongholds, altars of Lilith, waypoints, dungeons, all these things so you can route your experience and how you're going to collect all these for the end game. Now, one big reason I wanted to make this video for you guys is because it brings up a big topic and we've talked about this in the past, but it brings up the devs at Blizzard wanted us to be able to fight in any zone, which is why it's open world and why monsters scale to your character level. They didn't want to have something like this down here with the, the Ursine Horror because this is zone 5. So this is going to be more towards your end game. So if they zoned this off and made this, hey, level 70 plus monsters, when I first start the game, I wouldn't be able to get this. I'd have to wait. But because the devs want us to be able to fight in any zone and backtrack or go to any zone to play in, whichever zones that we you know fancy the most, the theory is, is that after I complete the prologue here in zone one, I'm going to be able to travel south of the Taga here, or Taga, come all the way down, run past all of this, come to this dungeon, and instantly do it and get the aspect. Now, this is in theory, guys. Let me know down in the comments if you think that this is not going to be the case. If it is, though, it is going to allow you to be able to target farm specific um, aspects for your build. More importantly, this one is the main one I need for my Druid Earth leveling build. So it it really changes how you're going to want to do your progression of your characters. Because otherwise, I'm going to be playing Landslide until I get it. And although Landslide is not bad, but I want the aspect of the or aspect the aspect of the Ursine Horror early. I want to be able to do it. Although I still think that Landslide is probably going to be a better leveling tool until I get into like 30. But until then. Anyway, I digress. Uh, so in theory, we can come down here and just grab this instantly. Grab the, go to act, you know, zone two, get the mount, come down here and grab this. So you guys let me know down in the comments, what do you guys think about that? Um, but if that is the case, it does make for power leveling your character early, very, very strong. So, but besides that guys, this is the interactive map. I think it's a very, very strong tool for you if you are gonna be, uh, wanting to be a completionist or maybe you just want to have all the information to do certain things inside of the game whether you want to know where different waypoints are like when you complete a stronghold like for example in zone four you're going to be able to, to do this stronghold and then you'll be getting a waypoint so that way you know which strongholds you're going to be able to do to get waypoints as opposed to it being just a town which is really cool of course you have all the altars of lilith which you can really kind of navigate to like if i'm a dex based character well i can just grab all the dex ones even though you want to unlock all of them but if you wanted to go that path you could right and you have your campaign quest so you can see just how the quest line goes which is really cool um and then you have like campaign dungeons which are unique you got stashes which are really cool to have you know throughout the towns you got additional shrines which are very powerful um which just showcase things for a shrine to be found so this tool is very, very cool. I think it's gonna be great once it's fully updated and you will be able to get all the detailed information on each zone. One more huge feature, guys, that we found in here. I, I, wanna, I wanna emphasize that this may or may not be true. This is in here. It is the Clan Bunker. Banker, I said Bunker again. It is the Clan Banker. Okay, I don't know if this is gonna be something that is confirmed inside of Diablo 4, but if it is, Ladies and gentlemen, this is going to be really, really cool. That's going to add to the social aspect of clans in Diablo 4. Throughout the beta in Server Slam, this, the whole clan system, it was cool. And I thought it was very good for quickly inviting people so you can party up and play with. But 
Outside of that, there really wasn't any other social things to use, especially for having a clan, which I thought was kind of silly in the end. And I wanted, uh, it was one of the things that I asked for or, you know, pushed out there to like, we want to be able to use this more as a social thing. So when we find this clan banker inside the D4 Planner IO map, detailed map, if it is similar to the WoW banker, that means we're going to be able to put gold in there, resources. This is going to be one way that we're going to be able to trade items, repair items, and do all of these things, which are going to be really cool. And as the clan owner, I'm going to be able to bribe my members to give me massive, massive amounts of gold, which is going to be really sick. However, I do want to say another disclaimer, guys. I don't know if this is what it is or if it's true or not, but if it is, it would be something that's really, really cool for having clans in Diablo 4. So guys, that is the interactive map. I will be linking it down in the description for you. Um, and again, down in the comments, let me know if you guys think about being able to, if this is something that we can do right off the rip in the game. I would love to add from the devs to see if that is true. Let's hope it is. That would be really cool for me because I'm playing Druid. It's going to be crazy. But make sure to subscribe, guys, if you are new. And as always, stay gaming. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.